So here's what's, here's how. But Miguel, they only have so much Bitcoin. How is that going to pump the price? Let me t- let me tell you. Okay, there's something that happened a long time ago in 2017 called the Kim Chi Premium, right? Which basically yeah. means like there there's a there was a lot of uh, there was South Korean and Japanese exchanges. There was such a demand for BTC that the price was actually anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars higher per Bitcoin on those exchanges. Yeah, there, I, I saw I met a guy here in Tokyo back in 2017. Um, he just started talking to me on the train and uh, I was like, Oh yeah, you're from Korea. Like he's just like a, a gaijin though, but like he was in, uh, from, he was living in Korea and he came back to Japan. I was like, why did you travel to Japan? He's like to buy some Bitcoin because it's cheaper here. Like it, it was cheaper yeah. to travel all the way here. Right. And buy Bitcoin and then travel all the way back than it was to just buy it over there. So, you yeah. know, it's pretty interesting. It's, 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 it's crazy, crazy. So what's going to end up happening is that. Um, rich people are going to come and like, oh, yo, I need, I need BTC. I need to get the hell out of the country, right? So a lot of people are going to start buying, basically giving up wealth, paper, money, land, whatever the hell it is, in order to buy Bitcoin. And what's going to happen is that these guys who have access to miners are going to get extremely wealthy from doing this to the point where they're going to start doing like, holy shit, they're going to start flying off to Singapore and all these other countries to get Bitcoin, bring it back, and then sell it to them. And what's going to happen is it's going to drive premiums up in Asia. And then over time, it ends up trickling where this just starts buying up and taking a ton of BTC out of the market. So there's going to be a ton of Chinese holders holding BTC. And there, and then a lot of those Chinese holders, as soon as like it could take a year to two years for them to finally get to where they need to be, then they're going to be the ones dumping the market later on. When yeah, they try and, to and last year, over 2021, a lot of the sell pressure came from Asia. A lot of the buy pressure came from the United States. And so if Asia had been a buyer last year, that 100K mark, I think, would have happened. But because there was that turmoil with China saying, we're going to ban it, they turn off their miners, or at least they pretend to turn off their miners.